Okay, today we're going to install uh, Linux Mint Dual Boot with Windows 7. And we're going to make sure that we're not going to interfere with the MBR on Windows 7. So start Firefox or your browser, type in EZBCD Community Edition. Oops, I spelled that wrong. And then go to the first one, which is Softpedia. Click download, and you've got a choice of mirrors to download from. Click on the mirror that you want. After a few seconds, this will pop up. Download it. Wait for the download to complete. Open up the downloads. No, maybe not. All right, we'll try over here. Go to downloads. Start up ECBCD. Click yes. And then just set it up. I'll just start it up so it installs. Okay, click finish. Then we restart the computer with our live CD. And we're going to click install. Okay, so this starts the Mint installer. And we're going to, as it's only got one disk, oops, uh, let's click continue on the, on the language. Click continue here. Wait for it to recognize the drives. Uh, we can either install alongside, replace, which will we can include encryption, but this time we're going to do something else. Click continue. As you can see, we've only got one disk, as I said. And it's got two partitions. This is the boot partition for Windows, and this is the main Windows partition. So we're going to change the main partition. We're going to shrink it down. Obviously, these sizes that I'm using here will be totally different for you. Okay, so as you can see, this disk is 15 gigabytes, and uh, roughly seven and a quarter gigabytes are being used. So I'm going to give it a size of eight just to keep it happy. As I said, yours will differ. Click OK. Click Continue. Right, and then it'll recognize it again. It'll see that it's changed. Any moment now. You see, it takes a little while. Okay. And then we're going to click into the free space. There's the Windows partition, the pink one, and the yellow one is the boot. And then you've got SDA, this is the hard disk itself. And these are positions. So we're on Windows and then click on Free Space. That's the free space for there. You can see it's uncolored. It doesn't have any color in it. Right, so we're going to make our first partition a primary partition. And it's going to be at the beginning of the, of the space. And we're going to make it our root partition. Okay. Right, so we wanted something around about, oh, I don't know. How shall we make it? Now, to make sure that we've got enough space for everything else, uh, we just need to uh, make it somewhere around about, what do we think? Yeah, we'll go 5,000. So 5,000 will be 5 gigabytes. Click OK. Wait for that to be recognized. Click on Free Space again. Click Add. This time we're going to make a swap partition at the end of the space and we're going to make it uh, quite small okay so for you we're just going to knock the two gig off so it's going to be a half a gig again your system will be different your system you need to have roughly double your ram okay oh, but sorry the same size as your ram or slightly more than your ram okay and then the last one again we're not going to alter this bit here we're going to uh, just mark it as home and it's going to take up the rest of the space again 
your uh, home partition needs to be bigger than your root partition. So this is your root partition. This is the home partition. And then this is the swap partition. Okay. And then we're going to make sure that we put our boot loader onto SDA3, which is where our root partition is. Remember that? SDA3. That's the third partition, basically. Okay, and the uh, continue installs. <laughs> Install continues even. Uh, we go through where are we to. Again, we can ch check our language. Fill in some basic information. Give it a meaningful name is uh, easier, I find. And then um, give it a, a reasonably good password. Make sure the passwords match. Now I can either log in automatically or I can require my password to log in or I can encrypt my home folder. I'm just going to get it to require my password. Okay, the install continues along. You can see I've, I've made it smaller there, the shorter there for you. I click restart now and it'll restart into Windows. <laughs> 